Hey y'all, Donnie Keith here, aka Auntie Peaches from the Auntie's Radio Show, also on The Voice of Reason. I'm here to say that ever since my man started taking A game, he's been on top of his A game. What? When I say A game, I mean his A game. He's more focused. He's definitely working out more. His attitude is better. And he's not complaining of all over body aches due to poor blood circulation. Because A-game provides great blood circulation. If you know what I mean, ladies. That blood circulation. Sometimes I have to hide the A-game in the bushes when I'm out walking the dog. Just because I want some sleep. (laughs) If you know what I mean, ladies. Stay on top of your A-game. Game, fellas, get your A game. What's going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform, man. Much love, much love. And we back with another video. In this video, I want to speak on the whole EDP 445 situation and social media incels. I told y'all a while ago, I'm not sure of the stream, but I said that blue pillars and weirdos are the ones who really run the internet world. And when I say weirdos, it's not because I see them as weird. It's because they see themselves as weird. They see themselves that way. They see themselves as people who were rejected from society. But a lot of these guys haven't really went out in the world and tried to make anything of themselves. So what they do is they use the internet as their place of refuge and also as their weapon. And this is what guys like EDP 445 did. He pretty much used his home, the internet, as a as a weapon for him to get away with the debaucherous sexual things that he's into. And a lot of guys like him, a lot of incels are, they use the internet for that purpose because they don't feel like they, um, they are socially adept enough to go out and to actually communicate with people in the world. So they create this false image that, They have a false sense of self. And we see that with guys like EDP 445 because they come online and they create this whole false image of themselves. And they make other guys who suffer from this same mental illness and personality disorder. And they they gather up a fan base of men who feel the same way about themselves, who walk around with this reality that they created in their mind and this character that they're juxtaposing on the world as if this is the real them. And this stuff is dangerous because the real them is the person that you see got caught on that video when he was going to meet that young girl. See, that's the real him. That is the guy that he tried to hide from the world, but you can't. They have videos up where they have the whole conversation with him talking to this child over a three year period. And there's a lot of guys like this online. There's a lot of social media incels. There's a lot of 
EDP 445s. And when I'm talking about incels, it has nothing to do with the black pill community. It has nothing to do with guys who consider themselves black pill. Incels are blue pillars. These are men who are not willing to accept their own reality. These are guys who not only are not willing to accept their reality, but they're not willing to do anything to change it. They are stuck in a world where they think this is what it is and this is how it's always going to be. And guys like that usually create characters within themselves and um, all types of weird lifestyles that they have outside of what they're presenting to y'all online. I watched this dude sit down and eat 50 nuggets and fart while doing this stuff. I watched this dude sit up there and talk about how dudes don't get no girls, how they hating on him because he getting chicks, how, you know, all of a sudden his phone magically rung and it was supposedly one of his girlfriends. But when you looked at the camp, the phone, when he picked it up, you can tell that he set up a scheduled phone call from a Google number to make it look like a girl just called him. You didn't hear no woman on the phone, none of this stuff. He's talking to his camera as if he's talking to people who's hating on him. Nobody's hating on you. As we know, when he's talking about, you know, you, you dudes is hating because I get women and y'all don't get women and y'all are jealous and y'all hating on me. We know that all of this stuff is lies, man. He's talking about himself. He's talking about himself. Women don't like him. He doesn't even go outside. As y'all can see, he's a, he's a super obese man. This dude could barely walk down the street. This dude was sitting there eating chicken nuggets talking about how his heart hurts, but he continued to eat them. So we know that there's a lot of incels on social media like EDP 445. And these guys need to be called out because they need help. These guys, these guys are, they're totally spiritually void they definitely need the internal five of the 10 life value system edp is spiritually destroyed he has no integrity he he doesn't respect himself he doesn't believe in himself which most incels don't most incels um are spiritually void most incels um deal with mental illness most incels um, feel like they don't have a place of belonging, so they have issues with their family. And most incels, as y'all can see by EDP's appearance, he don't care how he look. He wears anything. That's why a lot of these incels on here don't show themselves. Because they don't take care of themselves. They don't care how they look. So guys like that, man, they need this 10 life value system. They need the internal five. That'll stop you from being an incel. You need your spiritual value assessed, your health value assessed, your family value assessed, your appearance value assessed, and your dwelling value. This dude was sitting there eating nuggets, just throwing the boxes everywhere. So he lives in filth. And this is due to how he see himself. So brothers, the internal five of this 10 life value system 
can help you go from being an incel to actually being a functional man. Because guys like EDP 445 is sick. They're sick, man. They're sick in terms of their acts, but they're also mentally sick. And they need help, man. They do. So shout out to y'all. Thanks for listening to the video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. And fellas, get down in the description box and join this A-game lifestyle. Get down in the description box. Join this A-game lifestyle. It is a lifestyle of prominent health. Prominent health. Join this A-game lifestyle, fellas. Click the link in the description. At your checkout, type in promo code SHEEP in the number 10. That's SHEEP in the number 10 as your promo code to get a discount off on your purchase. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace. When I'm training for professional competitions, men and women always ask me for advice. To women, I say push yourself harder than you ever have before and go beyond your comfort zone. Focus on your goals. Men, if I am willing to push myself to become Mr. Olympia in 2022, then I only have one thing to say to you. Bring your A game. Here we go again.